What's up you guys? Um, we're out here at Cloverdale Skate Park right now and I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to backflip on a scooter. Let's get it. All right, so I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to backflip in three simple steps. Step one is um, finding the safest place to do a backflip. So I would highly recommend learning into a, um, a foam pit or a, onto a resi ramp, just because it boosts your confidence a lot and you're able to kind of like push yourself to doing it a lot easier. But if you do not have any of those, what you want to learn out of is maybe a five to six foot quarter, something like this, so it's not too steep. And um, if you have a mattress, that would help a lot because it'll help boost your confidence when you're trying them. And um, also, you really want to make sure you're wearing a helmet because if anything does go wrong, then you definitely want to be protecting yourself. If you have elbow pads, knee pads, I recommend those as well. But um, yeah, safety first, you guys. So um, the second step to learning a backflip is starting the backflip. So you want to have like a decent run up to your backflip where you can get some good speed. And when you're coming up, what you want to do, and before I say this, commit 100%. Like if you go into backflips and you don't commit, it's not fun. As you're coming up the ramp, you want to start leaning back like near like the bottom of the ramp. And then when you come up, you want to hop off and like look back and tuck your body in. You don't want to be just kind of like throwing yourself back because then that could end in chaos. So you do not want to do that. Be really calm and just make sure you're leaning back a bit. When you hit the coping in the ramp, it should pop you back and you tuck in and look back. So now I'm going to show you guys an example. So I'm just going to head up to the top. All right, so now the third and final step to doing the backflip is spotting your landing. So once you've pretty much started pulling off your backflip and you're upside down, you want to look back and you'll spot your landing when you're upside down. So when you do that and you see your landing, you pretty much just want to bring your body to come down and land right in the spot that you're looking. Put steps two and three together and you have your backflip. So I'm going to do one more. I'll show you guys how I'm looking at the ramp. Watch my head while I'm doing it. So you see how I spot my landing there? So that's exactly what you want to do when you're doing it. So look back, spot your landing, and land in that spot, and then you'll be perfect. And then you've got your backflip. So yeah. All right, so now that you guys can do your backflips and you're flipping around the park, all that, now you can start taking it to different spots. So now you can do them out of banks, out of um, on hips. You can start adding um, variations to it, like doing bar spins, 180s, start doing flares, all that kind of stuff. So the options, all you, just make sure you're, you've got your backflips down. You don't want to be jumping to doing these too soon, because then it can get a bit crazy. But um, yeah, so just have fun with it. And yeah, I'll show you guys some variations. Alright, thank you guys for watching. If this helped you guys learn backflips, be sure to tag me in your backflip videos and I'll go check them out. But anyways, hope this helped you guys a lot. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment below, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, let me know if I should do more tutorial videos and I'll make sure I get those out for you guys. So, see you guys later.